Before I begin doing example problems, I want to point out the table of information that is above the problem. This information has been presented to you in a different form in previous work. There is a correlation between the charge of monatomic ions and their oxidation number. So take a few minutes and study the table, then we'll begin to do problems. The first problem involves determining the oxidation state of sulfur in the sulfate polyatomic ion. First, we're going to assume that the oxidation number of oxygen is negative 2. One way to determine the oxidation number of sulfur is to set up an algebra problem, where the summation of the oxidation numbers of sulfur and oxygen must equal negative 2. The negative 8 comes from 4 oxides, or 4 oxygens. 4 times negative 2 would be negative 8. The X is the oxidation number of sulfur. The negative 2 is the charge on the polyatomic ion. So the sum of the oxidation numbers of the individual atoms must be equal to negative 2. Solve for X, you'll find that X is positive 6. Therefore, the oxidation number of sulfur in sulfate is positive 6. Next, we'll determine the oxidation number of chromium in chromate. Again, we'll assume the oxidation number of oxygen is negative 2. There's four oxygens, so that would give us negative 8 plus X, which is the oxidation number of chromium. The sum of those two must equal negative 2. And in this case, the oxidation number of chromium is also positive 6. Next, we'll determine the oxidation number of chlorine in HClO. This is a molecular compound. So the sum of the oxidation numbers must equal 0. Again, make the assumption that the oxidation number of oxygen is negative 2, and also the oxidation number of hydrogen is positive 1. We have one hydrogen and one oxygen, negative 2, positive 1, plus chlorine, which is the unknown, X. Doing the algebra, we find that X is positive 1, so the oxidation number of chlorine, in this case, is positive 1. I'd like to point out, in this particular example, there are three atoms can have common oxidation numbers, according to the table I presented before. And that would be oxygen negative 2, hydrogen positive 1, and it would imply group 7A, the oxidation numbers would be negative 1. Well, chlorine is included in group 7A. The question is, what's the oxidation number of chlorine in this compound? One might immediately say it's negative 1 based on the table. Well, here's a couple ways to think about it. Hydrogen and oxygen take precedence as far as their presumed oxidation numbers of 1 and negative 2. The other way of thinking about it is if you're asked to determine the oxidation number of chlorine, for example, don't use the table to predict that particular oxidation number. Plug in the oxidation numbers of the other atoms based on the table and then solve for the one you're asked to determine. 